here you are. This could be interesting. There's no shortage of firearms in this neighborhood. I suspect the solution will turn on geometry, timing, and human nature. There may be a penny dreadful in it. Look into it, won't you? From what I can gather, Prescott was shot almost exactly at 12 o'clock noon. The young lads across the street were fooling with a pistol they'd found. A bullet must have gone astray through the wooden fence. Hit Mr. Prescott smack in the chest. Bloody unlucky for all concerned. He was a good man, very honorable. I'm proud to have served under Colonel Prescott in the 11th foot Gold Coast, Africa. I was on my way here. Heard two shots I did, right at the stroke of noon. Turn and find out about this. Apparently, they put the clock there while doing some repairs. It still runs, I notice. Bullet hole in the clock. <laughs> That's a new one. It could have already been there when I arrived at Nell. Or maybe it was the second shot I had. Him and me like to insult each other. I was a lieutenant under his command in Africa. I love the army. No one questions you when you wear a uniform. Anyways, every morning when he arrived, we'd call out and joke with each other. We stood right there on the mark and shot the target. 
I went to shoot, but there was a loud bang. I was surprised and missed the target completely. It wasn't me who killed the man. I'm no murderer. We found a revolver underneath the lumber yard window. Don't know where it came from. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Prescott put that up in memory of the time he led a sortie across the Pearl River to outflank Ashanti warriors. Things turned out badly that day. When Colonel Prescott retired from the army, he used his connections and started this munitions factory. He wanted the men that served with him to have work when they left the army. When Colonel Prescott... Prescott led a flank and sortie that went wrong. Lots of casualties. Some men called the Colonel a coward, but it were really just bad luck. Anyway, he resigned. To make amends, he offered work at his factory whenever one of us left the army. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this.
Saw him each morning as I drove by. Seemed like a good sort. We lost an entire barrel of beer, damn it. I heard two loud bangs, but thought nothing of it. Later, I found a bullet hole in a barrel. Imagine that. It's the poor lad. Fell on my doorstep a few years ago. He's in a bad way, has some sort of malady. Rides in the back while I make deliveries. Hard worker, very determined. Just drop off beer. Don't pay much attention to people along the way. There was an hole in a barrel. I've got no explanation for that. I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. That's for some sickness I picked up a while ago. Can't remember the name of it.
I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Admit it. I sell stolen rifles and pistols. All very hush hush. Black market. I brought that gun back from Africa. I was a sniper fighting the Ashanti. I used that gun this morning for Prescott's challenge. It's the only Whitworth we have. I'd never sell it. I brought that gun back from Africa. I was a sniper fighting the Ashanti. I used that gun this morning for Prescott's challenge. It's the only Whitworth we have. I'd never sell it. I made that shot. Early this morning, Prescott challenged me to plug the 12 from my shot. I missed just slow. No one witnessed it. It was too early in the morning. His goddamn cowardice in Africa got me best friends killed. He should have faced a firing squad. Very good sleuthing on your part. It's a miracle anyone survived what with all those bullets whizzing about. Up to the cave with you!